You know, I went to India and to Asia and I was deeply, deeply influenced by the spirituality in these countries. I saw enormous poverty but enormous beauty. And I came back with this amazing tale of the parable of the blind men and the elephant. And I loved it so much because it's about people who know the truth and they fight because they know this truth and they're prepared to argue with others, even kill them because they know the way. But when you stand back, each of these people were holding different parts of the elephant. And the philosophy behind that is that there are many pathways to goodness, to love, to God. And I wanted to make a picture book, create a picture book, which would offer young people and also adults a methodology to find their own pathway to peace. And that was the driving force of Elephants Have Wings. And of course, I totally love elephants. All right. Please tell us the story. Yes, the story. My brother nudges me. Please, Father. Father always pretends he won't tell us, but he always does. Each time the story is more amazing. All right, tonight I will tell Grandfather's story. Our house was earthen and small, but always warm. It was surrounded by green vegetable fields. One night your grandfather told me and the other children to go outside and search for the secret. It was dark and my heart beat too quickly. Then I heard rustling. A rope I called out. He's found a rope. The children laughed and told me that I knew nothing. It's a tree branch, rough and wrinkly. You're wrong. It's marble, cool, smooth and cold. Don't be a fool. It's a scarf swaying in the wind. You're all wrong. It's a sandy wall. We argued until everyone was angry, until we were shrieking at each other like a babble of monkeys. We all believed that we were right. The story goes on for them to find their own answer of how each of us was right but also wrong. And they journey on the wings of an elephant to find the meaning of life. And I'm going to end here to show you the beauty of the world they discovered. I love it. If you look there, there's the tree of life, the elephant meditating, the children in a circle of love and life, and so many elephants hidden as they go on their journey to face the beauty of the universe, the beauty of creation, and then what destroys it, war, and their own pathway to peace. And it's a deeply important book to me.